Before watching uh, the rest of this video, make sure that you draw your lips for uh, the before section. So just divide your sketchbook in half and then at the top, draw lips. Um, and then come back and play the rest of this video to uh, see the steps to simplify it into uh, simple forms. So go ahead and pause it and draw your lips first. Um, but getting started with drawing the lips, we're going to break it up into circles for the top lips and bottom lips to keep it as simple as possible. Um, so I'm going to start with the bottom lips and just draw two circles next to each other. Um, so that's going to represent the uh, bottom lip here for the width of the bottom lip. And then I'm going to draw three circles for the top lip. So just right in the middle of those two circles, I'm going to draw another circle. And then off to the side of that circle, um, I'm going to draw two more. And they're all just slightly overlapping. So on the top lip, that middle circle is this one right here that represents where that bottom lip will be. And then the two on the outside represent how the lip goes up and then back down. Um, so as you start drawing, you can see in this, in this video here how I'm taking those circles and just dividing them in half. So I'm looking at, as I'm dividing them in half, uh, that line down the center of the lips. So I'm trying to draw this line. Now you'll notice it's not straight across. It doesn't just curve up like a smiley face, um, but there's a few kind of lines and bumps and ridges within that line. Um, so try to really look at the contour of it as you're drawing and try to keep it um, as detailed as possible how it comes down, back up a little bit, and then continues out. Um, so as after you finish drawing that middle line, you're going to move on to the bottom lip. And I'm just pretty much connecting the dots. So I'm drawing a line underneath those two circles to keep the width of the lip. And then I'm connecting um, the corners together where I have that middle line. So I'm just extending them out. And then on the top lip, same thing. I'm following the curve of those circles, how they go down and back up, just like the top lip there. And then I'm connecting the dots on the outside. And from there, I'm gonna erase the circles just so those don't get in the way um, as I'm adding highlights and shadows. And then I'm gonna go in and just lightly outline the highlights. So the highlights are typically on the lips gonna be in the middle. So you can see on this picture how there's that highlight in the middle of the lips and then just a faint highlight on the top, um, kind of corners or middle of the top there. And then I'm just shading. So I'm looking at all those medium tones and shadows and trying to fill them in. Um, and as I'm shading the bottom lip here, you'll notice I'm trying to create texture. So this um, is similar to when we did the cross contour lines. And this is what's going to help to create the form. Um, when you actually look at the bottom lip here, most are going to have this kind of texture where you can see these lines. So it's great to actually draw those and show the contour. Um, and remember that you want to, instead of drawing straight lines for contour, you want to curve those out and around. So on the right side, I'm making kind of a backward C shape. And then on the left side of the lip, I'm making just a regular um, C shape. And then moving on, the bottom of the lip is going to be darker. So I'm going over those contour lines a few more times along the bottom. And then same thing with the top lip. I'm drawing those lines kind of coming out. Um, and it's darker coming out from the bottom. So I'm really just drawing those from that middle line up. And then remember to look at the value change on the outside of the lips or the outside of the mouth, and that's what's going to make it fit in the space of your portrait. So you can see that kind of shadow where the nose and the lips meet in between. Um, so look at the shadow there and where there's little bits of highlight. And then the darkest shadow will most likely be underneath the lips. So I'm really shading that in, blending it out so that it's smooth. So again, you can use your finger for this if you don't have a blending stump. Um, or just a rolled up paper towel works great. And I'm just blending things out, trying to, on the lips, blend a little bit. But again, I want to leave that texture so that I can see the contour and the form of the lip. And then I'm going over that shadow a few more times in a few areas just to darken up the darkest places on the lips and the darkest shadows above and below. And then I'm taking my eraser and just erasing a few of the highlights. So you're typically going to have a rim or a highlight right around that top lip. So you can see a little bit of that lighter value on the skin there. And I'm just bringing that out and then touching up a few details. So that is the finished lip there.